So we're here with the fantastic Dahi O'Shea, the most popular man in the building today. Dahi, are you looking forward to tonight? Yeah, we have to say that, no, there's only four other men in the building. <laughs> So that's why I'm the most popular, but that's okay, I'll take that any day of the week. I'm very excited, uh, but it's kind of, I get to come home to Kerry, like, and it's, it really is like Kerry playing in all Ireland in our back garden. Well, I'm not very happy with Kerry beating Galway last week, but I'll get over it. Listen, I have to live in Galway. I, I, was, know, I, was, in, I, I was in Galway watching the match, like, and oh. I was there, I was, I was very quiet and celebrating. Dahi, I was delighted to see your social media post today saying how well Trilly looked. Um, you must be a very proud Kerry man for this week. But whatever it is, I, I've been uh, host. This will be my fifth year host on the show. I was a judge a few times, and I've been uh, coming to Trilly all my life. But we were walking downtown last night and again today, and just to see the buzz around the place. The place looks absolutely immaculate. It looks brilliant, and it's just a great uh, poster for people to come to Trilly. It's brilliant. And of course, you got the best prize of all. You got a wife out of the rose Trilly. Is that the best Do, prize? <laughs> you got the best prize possible. It's one of the best prizes, I suppose. And have you had a look and have you met all the girls you've seen on the paper oh, yeah. from the press? Yeah. Any favourites? Um, well, to be honest, when I, when I was a judge, I would be looking for favourites and stuff like that and for people who stands out. But being the host is kind of different, really, because my main job is to make sure that the rose is comfortable on stage and to get the best out of the rose on stage. And if the rose walks off saying, that was great fun, then I feel my job is done. So I don't really... I, I wouldn't be able, I don't I, I haven't picked been able to pick a rose since I, I took over hosting yeah it's, it's it's kind of weird you're looking at it from a totally different vantage point so you're looking forward to tonight but on Monday and Tuesday and then are you going to take a few days off and relax yeah I'm going back home to Dingle for a few days so I'm looking forward to that as well but um see we do all the hard work before it like the, actually the easiest part of the whole rose of tree is actually the TV thing the, it's actually the easiest part where you walk up because you have two two and a half thousand people in the dome everybody wants you to do well well, I saw a poll there recently, and you've outshone everyone. You're top of the poll for the best presenter of the Rose Tree. You must be very proud of that. Yeah, it's the first I've heard of it, so I am. I'm, I, I'm proud and very shocked. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it, it's funny. When I, I suppose when I took over the job, I was thinking, okay, people are going to be comparing me to Gabe Byrne. People are going to be saying there's one and a half, 1.2, 1.4 million people watching it. When I came to Kerry, they didn't care about any of that, right? I was the first Kerry man doing it, and that was it. Well, I think it would be fitting if we had a Kerry Rose. Imagine Kerry has never won the Rose Tralee. It wouldn't be fantastic. It's unbelievable. I think there was a, there was a Rose from Tralee, was the Rose of Tralee years ago. And, but there, was no, there has been no Kerry Rose. And I feel the Kerry Rose is always under a small bit of pressure because all the roses are in her back garden for the festival. So, and uh, she's kind of no more than my, I'm the host of the TV show. She's the kind of host of the roses as well because they're all coming over to see her patch of land as well. So you'd never know. Well, listen, we'll let you go because we know you're a busy man. Di, thanks so much and the very best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.